Hi there, it's Laura here from iHeart Planners and I have a lot of experience moving and in this video I'm going to show you how to have a super organized, really smooth move. So everybody knows that moving can be stressful and a little bit or maybe a lot chaotic sometimes, but let me tell you, from experience, the more organized and prepared you are, the better your move will go. And I have had moved so many times from house to house, halfway across the country, you name it, I've probably done it. And I'm gonna be sharing with you what I have learned along the way. On my last move, I had a ton of people commenting that it was the most organized move they had ever seen because we had everything labeled and ready to go. The truck was unloaded, everything was in the right room in under an hour and a half. So that's what happens when you prepare. So if you're moving, if you know anyone who's gonna be moving, be sure to share this video with them. And if you love organizing tips, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. All right, so my number one piece of advice if you're gonna move is to create a moving binder. Get it started well ahead of time. Let me tell you, I have moved both without and with a moving binder. The moving binder moves went so much better. And I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I have in mind and I have a printable kit that I've created for you to help you create your own binder. Be sure to click the link below to download it. All right, so first I filled out the moving legend with all the areas in our new home. And this printable, what I love about it is that it's fillable. So you can customize it to your own needs, to your own home and type in what spots that you have. And if you don't have that many, just leave some blank, no big deal. And then next, I filled out the moving label sheets that corresponded with the spaces on the moving legend. And again, these are fillable. Not only are they fillable, you're not gonna have to type in your labels 10 times, don't worry. You just type in the first spot and it'll automatically populate the rest of the spots on that label sheet for you. And so I love this. So that means within two minutes, I had my complete file for my own customized printable moving binder all done. Then I print a few of each of the label sheets onto Avery label sheets. I use Avery 8163 labels. They're super easy to find. They're supposed to be address labels, but they work perfectly for this to put on moving boxes. All right, and I wanna issue a word of caution about these shipping labels. They work perfect for putting on moving boxes because you don't need to take them off, right? But if you try to put them on wood furniture or something like that, or even plastic, they do not come off easily. They're not designed to be removable. So you might have a little bit of trouble. Now we went ahead and put them on our furniture because the moving truck was getting there before us and we wanted everyone to know where it went, but we don't really have any valuable furniture. If I had super valuable furniture, I would not be putting these labels on it. Now, all we had to do was take some goo gone and get them off, no big deal, but I wanted you to know that up front so you don't get yourself in a situation where you put it on something and you can't get it off. So the next thing I do after I printed out a few sheets of each type of label is I punch the side of the labels and I put those right into my moving binder. Now what I'm using here is not your traditional three ring binder system, it's a disc binding system. Now I love the disc bound system for a whole lot of reasons, it's what I use for everything. But why I love it so much for this is that the punch does not eat very far into the page. It doesn't go as deep as a traditional three ring page. So that means I'm not really punching into the side of my labels very much. So you're not seeing big holes in the labels. And having them all in a binder, it's just all right there ready to go. So when I'm packing, I just go to the label, grab it, and stick it on the box. Next up, I create a little packing kit. So it gets the moving binder in a pouch, then I add a Sharpie, a pen, and some packing tape so that when somebody is packing, all they need to do is grab one thing and all the supplies that they need are right there. Saves a lot of time and makes it easy to follow the system. Next, I recommend to start packing as early as you can because the closer you get to the date of the move, the more stuff there is to do, the more hectic and chaotic it gets. So the more you do even weeks ahead of time, you will thank yourself later. So what I do is I go ahead and start putting in things that I don't need, like bulky kitchen items, my Christmas decoration, out of season clothes, and I get those all boxed up and ready ahead of time. Okay, so next, 
this really goes along with the packing early is don't be too lazy about filling out that box index. I know it can be tempting when you're writing it down to think this is kind of silly to write down what goes in each box. I'll probably remember. Am I really going to use this? Trust me, you will thank yourself later. And it really only takes a few seconds when you have everything together like this and the earlier you start packing the more important this is because you're not going to remember what you packed six weeks ago and what box that special plate you want to use is in and here's how it works and how i number my boxes so i just take my moving binder whatever number is next on the box index i'll write that on the label and then i pack the box seal it up place the label on the box and then write down the contents. So in the end, I just have one consecutive set of numbers regardless of what room it is. So there's no worrying about coordinating the different rooms or having different indexes. This makes it quick and easy. Now, there's one thing I wanna note when I tell you not to be too lazy about filling out your box index. The truth is in the last 24 hours before a move, things are gonna get a little bit chaotic and maybe a little bit out of control. So if your last few boxes aren't even on the index, don't sweat it. Do the best you can and having 85% of your boxes indexed is way better than none at all. Just do the best you can and know it's okay. No matter how organized and prepared you are, those last few hours are going to be a little bit hectic. Next, I always pack two or three open me first boxes and I actually have a printable for this. So as I think of things that need to go in these boxes ahead of time, I can go ahead and write them down so I don't forget. And then what I put in these boxes are the things that we will need our first night in our new home because we don't want to be searching through all the boxes to find the essentials and these are things like bedding just a few dishes um, maybe some favorite foods a shower curtain and a couple towels so we can take a shower and get ready the next morning having these open me first boxes are gonna be a lifesaver and I put special labels on them and try to put them on the truck last so we can find them early and get our essentials set up all right, so I really hope these tips help you have a smoother move. And I have loads more I wanna share, so go ahead and click the link below to check out the corresponding blog post or to get this printable kit for yourself so you can make your own moving binder. And if you like this, be sure to like it, share it with any friends that are gonna be moving and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our new organizing videos.